Everybody, it's Tyler here with the Sunshine Showdown Champions of 1658S and 7760X. I'm here with Yasumi and Ryan. We're going to be talking about their incredible win here. I mean, insane finals back and forth. I hope you got a chance to watch it here on fun and incredible process all the way through. So Yasumi, looking at uh, qualification matches, I mean, it was really kind of up and down, but your team, I love the Metabot that, that your team brings. It's like, we haven't seen too many robots with that. What has made you just want to continue with that design to be so successful? Uh, so our robots runs like a uh, front to front, intaking the front and scoring the front. If I change it immediately, uh, it would like change my driving. And uh, for this year, I rate my driver over uh, Autumn because this year is really to get D scored. So I don't want to switch my robot because it's better for driving, not just get a easy robot for auto. And, and looking at you know going into alliance selection modes, why was uh, 7760X such a great alliance uh, partner for you? Yeah, they actually find me like impersonal, and the way played one v one scrimmage, and uh, they actually beat me twice. So there's no, no, no like no reason for us to don't trust them, choose them. Ryan, looking at uh, playoff matches, just kind of starting out, what were some of the initial conversations like uh, with uh, practice years 2.5? Just what was some of the initial strategies and any conversations that went on between you? Yeah, so most of the initial conversations were about strategy. That being that they are very good at scoring on the long goals and we're much more competitive with the middle goals. So based off of those conversations, we developed a strategy which would have them focus a ton on the long goals and me just jockeying between like our long goal and the middle goals. And this was really good because like we had very good autons. So actually we won all the autons and eliminations. So knowing that we could sacrifice or at least go even in one of the long goals and control the middles in the other, we knew we would have a very good winning strategy based off that. What do you think was your toughest match going uh, up in the finals? So between 16 uh, quarterfinals and semifinals, what was your toughest one? Uh, definitely semifinals. And the main reason for this was before every uh, match, we would take a look at our opponent's autons, usually just through live stream or um, just watching them on the field. But with the semifinals, it was a little bit different. We didn't have that time to watch them, so we were kind of going in blind, facing them in all time. It ended up working out, but it was kind of a scare that um, we would have wished to not experience. Fair enough on that. Let's talk about finals a little bit. Uh, I mean, it was really a roller coaster set of finals, right? Finals one, you had two DCs uh, for that. Can you just talk to me about like what kind of happened in that match? Uh, so for our robot, it's just a uh, wire just broken, and uh, it's a uh, this radio is good. Radio is good. So just wire broken, and we just DC it for the whole match because I would list, I've been using the robot for three months. There's no way like everything's good. And for their robots, it's just like kind of programming issue that uh, happens by chance. So I just, I think it's just a uh, bad luck. And then going in the finals too, you know, both alliances were calling timeouts, so you had some extra time, but you were still trying to get your robot up and going. What, what was kind of the issue with your robot uh, that had some struggles to get it on the field? Yeah, first I really thank to like my open team just called timeout just for me. And uh, uh, the, the problem is we changed a new wire and uh, it's in our timeout, but the wire is still broken. I just chose another broken wire. So I just borrowed from like, uh, like the audience and uh, that's good. And your autonomous mode was a bit wild there too, right? Like the, the robot kind of just spun. And then you saw uh, Red Alliance crossover as well too. So you end up taking autonomous with that. What were your thoughts like? You know, you kind of go from like, oh my God, my autonomous is, is done. And then the, they're cooked as well too. Like what was kind of a uh, tele -op and driver control like? Uh, it's like we both starting in a like bad position. So it's just, uh, my position in the strategy is just to fight the long goal. So af after the end of the autonomous, uh, it's like, I just go do my job. That's fair enough. And then finals three, I mean, once again, your team wins auto uh, for that and as an alliance together going through. Did it, did you make any changes like after finals two to get ready for finals three? Like, I know you don't have a lot of time to watch the match videos or anything like that. So what were those conversations like and how did it play out for you? So all of our conversations were focused primarily on like the first 30 seconds out of Auton and the last 30 seconds. So for the first 30 seconds, we were seeing we were winning the middle goals pretty consistently and our alliance was able to win the long goal pretty consistently. So our strategy just revolved around us going straight for middle, our alliance would go straight for their long goal, and we'd play from there. For the last 30 seconds, we tried to employ a strategy. It was either we play 1v1s against our opponent or 1v2. So if we're down one long goal, um, actually, if we're down both long goals, then we're both going to go for one of the long goals together, and hopefully we can win that back. And just if we've won Auton, that should hopefully give us the amount of points we need to win. I think this is a fantastic alliance that worked together here. So once again, 7760X. 1658S. Congratulations going to Vex Worlds, and we can't wait to see them there. And good luck throughout the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos.
The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected.